What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trace, baby, and I'm back at y'all again with another banger. In the fragrance community, they always hype up certain fragrances. Those, the hype normally makes you want to buy these fragrances. Every time I come across some fragrance YouTube, they're saying, oh, this is a must buy. This is a must buy. This is a must buy. And then most of the time, it's a blind buy, especially me being the fragrance YouTuber. Like I blind buy a lot. A lot of stuff isn't in stores. They never have testers in store. I don't know if you all ever went to go try out some new fragrances, try out some stuff in the store. And like, they just never had the testers. So for this video, I, I'm gonna do three fragrances, should not six, three fragrances that I personally regret buying that was a waste of money for me personally. And I'm gonna start off the video fairly simple and we're gonna get right into it. The number one most hyped fragrance that everybody was recommending when I got into the frag community, people were saying this is the best thing since sliced bread. Every time you watch the video, three must have fragrances to buy, top 10 fragrances, super clones that are super good, fragrances every male must have in their collection. This was the first one to come up. Club de Nuit Intense Man by Our Moth. It's a Creed of Venice clone and I do not understand why people want to wear Creed of Venice so much. It is trash. That's a hot take, but it is trash, man. Nobody wants to wear this. You smell like lemon grass. You smell like lemon pledge. Please stop promoting it. It is not good. I don't understand why people want to wear this. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm sorry. I'm really passionate about not wearing this. This is dog water, man. Um, I got to spray it just cause man, the atomizer just fell off. It wasn't meant for me to spray that trash. I guess, I guess God said no lemon pledge today, but yeah, I understand it has some longevity. I can understand. I, I could, I could give it, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. It has some longevity. A lot of people come complimenting me when I wear it, but I wear fragrances for me and not for compliments and not for other people. I cannot stand the smell of fragrance. It's good for a lot of seasons. It definitely cuts through the cold. It's good in high heat in Florida. The dry down is somewhat better to some people, but me personally, I buy fragrances for me. This trash is not for me. I don't want, let me not call it trash. The fragrance isn't for me. I would not recommend anybody that supports my channel to buy this. It's a thousand clones. This isn't just, for, it just isn't for me. They say pineapple. That pineapple smells like lemon trash. I don't, yeah, it's not for me at all. We're gonna go into the next fragrance because I can go all day about not purchasing this. I would give this away. It's true. It's just not good for me. Like somebody, if you want this fragrance, please let me know in the comment section. I will ship it to you. It is trash. I'll put Adam atomizer back on. I had decanted it, trying to give it another chance last week. And that just put the icing on the cake for me. Boom. For my next fragrance. Ooh, this is going to be a little hot take. <sighs> Latafa Tobacco Touch. Y'all know the hype was going around with Bright Peach, Lovely Cherry Tobacco Touch, Porto Neroli. The whole little line on um, Amazon right now, they had a line for like $100, man. I got this for like $20 before, like it was super, super hype. I bought all I bought all of them besides Porter Neroli because I didn't like the Tom Ford, uh, like Neroli. I don't, I don't know, I, I'm not a Neroli fan personally. I don't even know what Neroli is. I just don't like how it smelled. But this one, it just smells medicinal, I would say. It smells like hospital, it's intoxicating, it's like, it's too strong. I, I never thought I would ever say like something is too strong, but it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, the vanilla is just too, I love vanilla, but the vanilla is just too strong. And it, it's it's sickening almost. The, this fragrance is just too, tobacco touch is just too strong. That tobacco and that vanilla together, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit something that I would personally wear. It's super strong, longevity is there, price point at $20, $25 is definitely there. But me personally, it was too overhyped for me, something like for something that's deadly, like sickening. I'm talking about like, it is sickening. Like I would never, ever, ever reach for this. It's collecting dust. Like, I don't know if you all can see, like 
it's collecting dust. I'll probably give this to like one of my friends or something, but I would personally never wear this fragrance. Um, I'm gonna try to give it another chance, but it was super overhyped. So these frag this fragrance is a super no go for me. And my third and last fragrance, you guys, I was highly disappointed. It looked like it was gonna be so good. I didn't watch any reviews on it, but a lot of people uh, were complimenting it so much. And that's gonna be Coach Platinum. Look at this presentation. This y'all can't y'all can't say this bottle don't look good, man. Look at this bottle. The bottle is so pretty. It's like amazing. Like I just love silver and platinum. Like the bottle looked good. And like um Coach for Men was really good. So I'll I can't I can't lie. I, I went into it with some high expectations. This one I'll spray on skin. Um, I won't use a tester strip for this one. Um, I definitely gotta find that atomizer because I'm gonna get that bottle away. But this one, it was just underwhelming. And I'll tell you all why. Performance, trash. How it smelled, like coach for men, like just, just stronger, I guess. I don't I don't know, I have to look at the nook, but it was coach for men just a little bit stronger. It is not for me. Um, it's nothing special, especially uh, at the price point. It was only like $33, but I was expecting to get a little more, especially with what Latop is giving for $33, like a, a premium brand like Coach. I thought they would put a little more. Um, a lot of a lot of people say their fragrances are underwhelming, but Coach for Men was a daily fragrance for me. I actually, that's probably one of the first bottles I'm going to go through. I'm almost done with the bottle, but that, that bottle definitely was a banger especially in the fragrance community all the men that i know are using that fragrance so yeah um these are the three fragrances let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below do you like these fragrances do you hate them uh what are your uh overhyped fragrances that you think weren't worth the purchase it's your boy trazy baby like subscribe donate to that cash app it's your boy i'm out